Good morning girls. Let us continue with the poem Small Pain in My Chest. Today I am going to explain you in brief what is the poem about and then I will explain you the stanzas in detail one by one. The poem Small Pain in My Chest is an anti-war poem written by Michael Mack. It is a poem about a wounded soldier who is dying slowly because of a small pain in his chest, which is probably a bullet wound. The soldier asks the speaker, for some water to drink. The soldier seems to be unaware of the fact that death is approaching him. He remembers his family and feels a little ashamed for feeling so weak and exhausted when he was once so strong and his wife had looked up to him. Eventually, he starts feeling cold and everything becomes dark for him. He thinks that it is just exhaustion and wants to rest for a while so that the pain in his chest could go away. Finally, when he dies, the poet hugs him tightly and is overwhelmed with his own grief. He also pulls him to his side and compares his pain to that of the soldier. The soldier received a physical wound, so it was a small pain, but the wound the narrator received was in his heart. Let us see the first stanza girls. The soldier boy was sitting calmly underneath the tree. As I approached it, I could see him beckoning to me. The battle had been long and hard and lasted through the night, and scores of figures on the ground lay still by morning's light. The narrator, the poem says, the poet says, when he approached a tree, he could see that the soldier boy was sitting calmly underneath the tree under the tree he mentioned he mentioned that the soldier was a boy that means he was a young man as the poet approached him he could see that he was calling the soldier was calling the poet the battle was long and hard and lasted through the night. The whole night they fought and scores of figures on the ground lay still by morning's light. Scores of figures means all over the ground he could see the dead bodies of the other soldiers who fought in that war. Here especially the war mentioned is as I told you earlier it, it was the reference taken from the Vietnam War. Next answer. I wonder if you would help me, sir. He smiled as best he could. A sip of water on this morn would surely do me good. We fought all day and fought all night with scarcely any rest. A sip of water for I have a small pain in my chest. Now, these, this stanza uh, is uh, the words spoken by the soldier. The soldier says that he wants some help from the poet. He smiled, he asked him with a smile on his face, even though he was having pain in his chest. Why the soldier has mentioned small pain in his chest? Because soldiers are so brave they never complain anything about anything so even 
the soldier had got hurt by the bullet injury he is just saying that it is a small pain in his chest now here he says that he wants some help what is that help he wanted from the poet is he wanted a sip of water so that he could he could feel some better by after drinking that and he also says that they fought all day and all night without any rest scarcely any rest means without any rest so now he wants just a small favor from the poet that he wanted a sip of water next stanza as i looked at him i could see the large stain on his shirt all reddish brown from his warm blood mixed in with asian dirt not much said he i count myself more lucky than the rest they're all gone while i just have a small pain in my chest as the poet looked at the soldier he could see a large stain on his shirt which was reddish brown in color we can say that it is the uh, color of the blood mixed with the asian dirt dirt here you can see asian dirt why did he mention asian and the meaning is given here a reference to the vietnam war which forms the background of the poem that's why he said that it is asian dirt because we don't have uh, any name for the dirt right but he mentioned here asian dirt because he has taken reference from the v- vietnam war not much said he so the s- soldier said that he feels that he is very lucky because all his friends i mean co soldiers all his um team members group group members we can say his members all his group members were dead except this man he feels that he was lucky enough that he was alive next stanza must be fatigue he weakly smiled i must be getting old i see the sun is shining bright and yet i am feeling cold we climbed the hill 200 strong but as we cleared the crest the night exploded and i felt this small pain in my chest the soldier was smiling at the poet and he said that he must be he was feeling weak so he says that he must have become old that's why he must be feeling weak and exhausted you know tired he sees that the sun is shining but he feels very cold because uh, he is going to die so that's why he is feeling cold even though the sun is bright he was feeling cold he says that they climbed the hill and there were 200 strong men and as they went and cleared the crest when they went there the crest meaning is given see there top of a hill as they went there and they cleared the crest and they, when they went to the top of the hill it has become night and the night exploded that means there was an explosion of a bomb and many of the soldiers were dead and i felt this small pain in my chest there was a explosion of bomb an explosion of bomb and many of the soldiers were dead he got shot by some of the enemy army and some of the men in the enemy army and uh, he got this bullet wound and he says that this bullet wound is giving him a small pain in his chest next stanza i looked around to get some aid the only things i found were big deep craters in the earth bodies on the ground i kept on firing at them so i tried to do my best but finally sat down with this small pain in my chest 
the soldier again says that after that explosion the previous night when he woke up he looked around to get some help the only thing he could find is the big deep craters only thing he could find were the big deep craters craters means a large bowl shaped cavity in the ground due to some explosion like hollow things right due to explosion some uh, hollow spaces occur on the ground so that is expressed here and he could see bodies on the ground what are bodies bodies means dead bodies of the soldiers i kept on firing at them sir he says that he kept on firing he, he still tried to uh, fight with the enemy army even though he tried his best he finally sat down with the small pain in his chest next stanza i am grateful sir he whispered as i handed my canteen and smiled a smile that was i think the brightest i have seen seems silly that a man my size so full of whim and jest could find himself defeated by a small pain in his chest now the soldier says that the soldier uh, says thanks to the poet as the poet handed his water bottle a small container you can say a small container you can say water bottle or something he handed because he asked for water no so he gave that uh, small container to the soldier so after taking that uh, uh, canteen into his hands he just uh, said thanks to him that uh, he mentioned here i am grateful sir that means he says thanks to him and he smiled the uh, poet says that it was the brightest smile he had ever seen he, the po- uh, the soldier continues talking with the poet the soldier says that seems silly that a man my size so full of whim and just whim and just meaning is given see enthusiasm he he talks about him he feels that he was a very enthusiastic person and uh, uh it it's it it is silly for him that he could find himself defeated by a small pain in his chest he was such a active and enthusiastic person finally sat down with a small pain in his chest next paragraph next stanza sorry what would my wife be thinking of her man so strong and grown if she could see me sitting here too weak to stand alone could my mother have imagined as she held me to her breast that i would be sitting here one day with this pain in my chest now he just thinks of his family he remembers his family and feels like little ashamed for feeling so weak and exhausted because his family has seen him when he was strong but now what would his family think if they see him sitting here what would his wife think what would his mother think by seeing him so weak and sitting there here means here that uh, he was on the death bed he was going to die so he mentioned it in a in capital letters right Uh, with that pain in his chest he was on the death bed what would his wife and his mother think of him he feels about the family he recalls remembers his family and he feels little ashamed next stanza can it be getting dark so soon he winced up at the sun it's growing dim and i thought that the day had just begun i think before i travel on i'll get a little rest and quietly the boy died from that small pain in his chest now uh, the war i mean the explosion had happened uh, the last night the previous night and 
when the soldier woke up he could find himself under a tree and he was having a small pain in his chest now just then he woke up that means it is the morning time but he feels that it is getting dark why so because he was going to die so he feels that it is going to dark to be dark soon it's growing dim and i thought that the day had just begun he he says to the poet that uh, he thought that it has just become early morning as he was thinking about the morning he could see that the morning was going to be dark why so because he was going to die i think before i travel on he don't feel that he is going to die he is saying that before he go he was going to uh, travel he was going to move on he want to take just a little rest and he wanted to move on but the actual thing is he could not move he was sitting under a tree and he could feel that it is getting dark because his eyes are closing he is going to die that's why he is feeling it is getting dark finally what happened and quietly the boy died from that small pain in his chest finally the boy had died from that small pain in his chest why the small pain in his chest had come to him because it is the uh, bullet shot by the enemy army the last stanza i don't recall what happened then i think i must have cried i put my arms around him and i pulled him to my side and as i held him to me i could feel our wounds were pressed the large one in my heart against the small one in his chest the poet can't even recall what happened then after seeing the death of the soldier in front of his eyes he could not recall what happened then he he probably he might have cried he uh, he took the soldier close to him he took him into his arms and he pulled him to his side the soldier received a physical wound so it was a small pain but the wound the narrator received was in his heart so it was a large one the poet says that the wound of the soldier is a small one because it is it, it was just a physical wound but the wound which the poet received was a was in his heart he feels that it is more bigger it is bigger than the physical wound that the soldier had received right so finally the poem is about the futility of war which takes away so many great ang lives the poem depicts the meaninglessness of wars and the loss of innocent lives hope you understand girls have a great day